guys know I have a soft spot for Porsches, especially rally Porsches. Cut to some footage that we've shot before. <laughs> with my friend Will Rogue and Andy Killicoin. We are with the one and only Willy Safari. What the hell? How fun is that, huh? This thing is so crazy. So Will and I already had a chance to shoot this. It's unbelievable. It's unlike anything else I've shot before. The quality and the fact that it's paint and everything about it is amazing. But this one's special. There's an interesting backstory to this one, isn't there? There's a little bit of a backstory to it, I guess. So we met when you brought us together to go shoot up in Wisconsin when we drove the Safari 4 car. That was an amazing experience. And I had a 1984 911 Carrera 3.2 that was just collecting dust in my garage. I listed it up for sale on Facebook to people I knew first. Nanny and I were friends on Facebook and he just replied to me immediately and said, hey, I'm interested in the car. And from there, I don't know, you could take over from there. From there, I, I guess, I mean, we got the car back to Wisconsin and it was trying to figure out what are we gonna do with it? You know, are we going to drive it, enjoy it? Are we gonna put it on the shelf in the shop and wait and figure out something to do with it? And then I think a, a good text dialogue uh, over, over a few weeks, I think there was a dare somewhere in there to uh, turn it into a safari car, if I remember right. Yeah, it was kind of like, you won't do it, I don't think. Like, <laughs> I won't be, no one will be mad, everybody will be excited if you do, but I was like, I think it was, was it a photo of a wheel? Yeah. And a tire next to it first, uh -huh. and it was kind of like, there's no way you're fitting that on there. <laughs> yeah, but that's the, kind of the thing, is when you first look at it, it almost looks cartoonish in terms of how big of an actual tire that you actually fit on this thing. It's huge, because you said that the previous wheels were 15s, right? 15 inch wheels. So the car we drove last time. Yep, you know, in, in reasonably decent sized sidewall on it. You know, they were, they were 28 inches tall. And that was already amazing, and that was already really cool in terms of how much ground clearance it had and how much functionality it had off-road. What's What was the concept with this? I mean, the craziest thing to me about this was that you posted a picture with a roof tent and then somebody called you out saying that it potentially couldn't hold the weight of the roof tent with people in it. Yeah, I was pretty confident that we could put a fair amount of people in there. You actually put a car on yeah. top of it just to kind of prove. Yeah, I wanted to put a bus on it, but the, the reasonable one in the family uh, pumped the brakes on that and uh, we ended up settling on a car after several, right. several So discussions. a cop car, a GT3 cop car. Yep. Yep. So you put a Porsche on top of a Porsche. Yeah, a Porsche mountain a Porsche. That is incredible. <laughs> Tell us about what you did on the outside. The wheel wells themselves, uh, as you can imagine, uh, had to be opened up to you know to fit that size of a tire. These are just shy of 31 inches tall. It's about three inches larger than the last uh, the last one that we did, as far as the diameter of the tire. It's got you know little mini steel flares that are on it, but it's uh, all part of the original body. There's not nothing that's been added to it. It's just a reshape of what was originally there. Which is mind blowing. Like Larry, you and I have shot this car now for the past couple of hours out here, and it looks so much pulled that you think that there has to be foreign metal in there to make it that wide. The the body lines, you know, that Porsche had originally, I mean, it's a beautiful car. And there really was no reason to to remake or redo that. You know, so we, we put a lot of effort into, you know, keeping the original des design language on the car. Uh, it's now a 3.4, uh, still uses a 3.2 uh, uh, original uh, case and everything that was in there. All the original injection and everything is gone, so now it's got a Gen V fuel injection system on it. Um, you know, so a modern EFI, Moltec engine management, 
you know, just, just a real proper build. It makes makes about 340 horse. These things are capable of making more horsepower, but, you know, it comes down to when you start to work on heat management, you know, and that's one thing that we always preach is we want to make sure it's, you know, good and reliable. So the car coming in at just under under 2,500 pounds, 340 horse, that's so about 120 horse more than what originally it was. With 31 inch tires, you don't need to go 140, 150 miles an hour. So uh, the 915 gearbox has all been uh, re-geared. It's now got a 731 ring and pinion and a uh, guards limited slip and short gear ratios in it. So it, uh, it launches hard and pulls super hard. <laughs> Interior's done, it's got Recaro seats in it. We did a full cage on it that, that we built in-house. I, I, not a big one for having cages in street cars, but to get these strong enough to uh, to work them in and you know to make it safe if, if you do unfortunately roll it over, uh, it is it is gonna be incredibly safe. You know, all the things that are that are needed to keep a driver safe. Uh, and the cage is tied into the, the, the front trunk area on the front skids tied into the cage, you know, so it's you know she's made for taking a hit. If you want to take it out on a Saturday and thrash it for eight hours and then, you know, air the tires back up and drive it home, it's fully capable of doing that. What things did you carry over from the previous Safari builds that you've done, like stylistic-wise, that were incorporated into the Willy Safari? Probably the cup muffler. Okay. <laughs> I actually really like what you've done to, uh, in terms of lighting, too, because you replace the entire panel on the rear yep. uh, with a LED light bar, as well as some serious LED lighting in the front too, which honestly ties in that look so much. I think it's kind of neat and fun because it's, you know, it's it's very traditional rally, but it's got some modern twists on it. You know, it's got a mil-spec wiring harness, so it's got the Motec uh, dash display. Built in next to the light bar is, is a Motec camera, so you get a backup camera. So when you go in reverse, the rear light bar illuminates, the camera comes on and it shows up on the dash display. You know, which is which is a lot of fun. I'm not able to move uh, my neck as well as I used to, so that's a super awesome function, you know, for me. Plus, there's some creature comforts too. Like, there's a really nice sound system, right? Yep, um, nice sound system. We use the the Porsche Classic radio, uh, GPS radio. You know, did some really good Focal speakers and a and a JL amp in it. You've got Bluetooth. You've got you know some of the the modern things you use there. We got rid of all of the uh, original switches. You know, so it's got a, a keypad for uh, you know to start it and to you know all your functions. You know thing we really retained was the, the turn signal stock and the, and the wiper stock on it. With that said, I actually can't wait to drive it. I can't wait to, well you haven't even gone on it really yet either. I haven't. Huh? I haven't. We have an off-road uh, 911 Safari expert actually who's done the Baja 1000 in a Safari 911 with us and Pike Speed Champion and all that and director of Climb Kana, right? Oh, we, have a, we got our buddy Jess Ward here yeah. to kind of show us how it's done. Oh. All right, here we go again. How do we get into this situation all the time, huh, Will? I don't know. Larry, we lucked out pretty hard again. <laughs> All right, so here we go, about to drive this for the first time. Uh, the crazy thing is, we're actually able to drive this before Andy, <laughs> who actually built this. And this car is for sale for $375,000. Damn! <laughs> Which is slightly more than what it was worth when I had it. Yeah, okay. yeah. My just, few hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's look at this startup. Right. Ready? Yeah, yeah. This the startup is, is sick. So, so it's push button start to start it. Oh, that sounds good. It sits so high now. Oh I don't my think God. people. It's like an SUV. Like, it is actually. You know, the thing is, it has such big tires. Yeah. I mean, well, because it's manual steering. Yeah. But once you get moving, it's actually not that bad. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is so crazy! This thing feels great! This is so good! How the brakes feel? They feel pretty oh, good. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, whoa. What? What? <laughs> it's so easy to drift too. <laughs> oh my god! 
Here we go. You're All actually right. driving your car, your right, old, old car. car. Here we go. Will's driving his old car. Here we go. You ready, Larry? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> what do you think? Feels really good. <laughs> You get for three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, guys. sunset. Senor, how was the day for you today? Today was really good. I would say just as good as the day on the lake, for sure. What do you think about this? Well, I think the number one, first of all, it's incredibly capable. And uh, to be out here in the rough stuff, the smooth stuff and everything, but I guess that, you know, I look for a fun ride and this is a fun ride and it's absolutely rock solid. We've been beating on it for most of the afternoon and it's just uh, it's just a blast to drive and the thing is is that with the ground clearance and the suspension setup There's really not much that you can't throw at it out here. So it's it's a lot of fun I gotta thank these guys for being out here all day the content that we got I mean of you freewheeling all over the place <laughs> and basically taking it to uh, down to Baja, California You know, we, we actually went on part of the race course here out uh, near King of the Hammers and he was wheeling it pretty good <laughs> to the point where you rounded off the tires pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we did. We took, we took the edge off. I think on that note, that is a wrap. <laughs>